morning everybody it's Laurie here from Nanny's Nook uh, coming to you from Prince Edward Island not too bad of a day today uh, we've had nothing but rain for days and days and it's supposed to rain again tonight and most of the weekend it's a long weekend here Canada Day weekend so the weather's not really gonna cooperate too much I don't think there's supposed to be fireworks Sunday night and it's a little iffy right now whether we'll even be able to have them because of the weather. We'll have to see. Um, we're going to head out to our camper this afternoon and spend the weekend there even if it is raining. Uh, my husband actually has Sunday off this week so he's going to be able to spend a couple of days out there with me. That will be nice. Um, I have quite a few finished objects this week, so let's get right down to it and I'll show them to you. Uh, first one is, it's an infinity scarf. It was from a YouTube video uh, from Sheep and Stitch, and it's done in... James C. Brett Rustic Chunky is the is the yarn. I'm hoping that's going to be a Christmas gift for somebody. The next thing I have is a knit hat. It's called, my pom-pom is a little floppy. I think I need to attach it a little bit better. It's called Jason's Cashmere Hat. And it's a pattern, Ravelry pattern by Melissa Thompson. And I did it in Patton's Decor is the yarn. Next one up is just a little bookmark I made. It's um, called the Four Leaf Clover Bookmark. Uh, it's a pattern by Nora Mon Drawn on Ravelry, and it was just a little, some leftovers of Red Heart Soft in the color of guacamole. And I have another hat. This is the Beach Bucket hat by Brienne Malden um, from Hooked on Homemade Happiness. It's a crochet along that's happening right now. It's called Crochet for a Cause. Um, once a week on Fridays she releases a new pattern and um, the intent is for you to make these hats and donate them either to a cancer center or wherever you think the need may be for hats. This one is, um, I did it with James C. Brett cotton on denim. It's the first time I've used that yarn. I really like the look of it, but the hat is a little bit too small for my head, so it would probably fit a, a child, I guess. I was kind of on a hat kick this week. This hat, can you see the spider? It uh, was a test knit that I did on Ravelry uh, by Rebecca Wills, I believe it is. So uh, that pattern's not released yet, but it will be released, I think, before too long. Sorry, I dropped my book with my notes. That's not good. Okay. We have another hat here. Now, this hat I actually made a while ago, but I never ever showed it. It's called uh, Say It Was Sprinkles Hat by Kate Agner. It was actually a test that I did 
earlier and this was just baby size but it does come in adult size too and this one I did in Patton's classic wool um, because I'm going to donate it to um, Warm Hands Network which is a uh, a group that I donate to that donates um, warm weather hats, mitts, cowls, whatever. Um, it's for children in up in northern Canada where it gets really, really cold. So that's the reason why they ask for everything to be uh, in 100% wool. So anything I make in 100% wool, I donate to them. I wait until I have a whole box full, and as soon as I have a whole box full, I send it up to them. And that, that's all I have for, oh no, I have one more finished object. That is my crochet hook holder. I didn't have a pattern for this, it's just a... Uh, mason jar. I just made a little holder for it so it'll look cute for holding all my crochet hooks. I really like that. That's all I have for finished objects. Um, as far as works in progress, I have tons, but I haven't really worked on them all. I have one of those cases of starditis where I see a new pattern and I have to start it and then I have so many things started that gets a little overwhelming after a while. But I do have a few things that I have been working on. Um, first one is the Flora Cal from the Crochet Crowd. Um, this is the Hydrangea Hydrangea square. This is the first one that, that I've done. I have to do three this month, so I'm getting behind a little bit, but we'll get those done. Uh, they released a new square once, once a month on the 15th of the month. So I have till the 15th of July before the next one comes out. And what else do I have? Let's see here. Not much progress on this, but I have never done amigurumi before, and this is the start of a Fisher the Frog. So hopefully the next video I have, I will have a frog to show you and not just one arm. One more finished, uh, or sorry, one more uh, work in progress that I have been working on the last little bit, and that is, it's a, a knit chevron blanket. It's called the Garter, Garter Chevron Blanket by Katherine Anderson. Um, hoping to finish that, to donate it. It's just, um sure big balls of yarn red heart comfort I think it is it's slow going but I pick it up every once in a while now I want to do a few shout outs I'm gonna try and do six shout outs each time I do a video uh, three four some kind of well-established channels and three for some fairly new channels. So for my uh, for the well-established channels uh, today we have Jane at Scraptastic Yarns and I want to thank Jane for giving me a shout out uh, my very first shout out so thanks a lot Jane and we have Debbie over to Canadian Crotcheter. Uh, I love watching her. She's funny and 
down to earth and she's a fellow Canadian. Then we have Terry at uh, Yarn Joy Podcast. I really enjoy her podcast too. She does a lot of amigurumi. She does blankets. She does just about anything. And uh, yeah, I really enjoy watching her. So if you want to check those channels out, I'll leave a link in the description box below. And then we have three newer channels that I'd like to give a shout out to. Uh, one is Pam Rivers, Nana's Boutique. Uh, she is quite new and she's still a little bit nervous like the rest of us. But that will come in time. Then we have Madonna Ballard and she is hilarious. <laughs> you want to go and uh, watch some of her videos. They're, they're quite interesting. Then we have Knit Pearl and Squirrel with Granny D. She not only shows her crochet things, but she also um, does, I don't know what you call it, audio books, I guess. She uh, reads books on her channel. So that's quite interesting too. And that's all the shout outs I have for today. I'm just going to do six each time. I think that's enough not to get overwhelmed. I'll do another six different ones the next time. Um, oh, one other thing I wanted to mention was on this, this um, bucket hat that I did which is cotton. I would love to know here in Canada where I can find worsted weight cotton. This hat was supposed to be made with worsted weight, but I uh, had to make it with DK because I could not find any worsted weight cotton. I know Michaels has the um, cotton cakes but it's, it's about an hour drive for me to get to Michael's and I didn't want to make that drive just to make this hat. And I checked, I have an awesome uh, local yarn store, but they have no, they had all kinds of DK cotton, but absolutely nothing for a worsted weight. So if anybody has any ideas of where I could get some cotton that's not going to cost, cost me an arm and a leg, I would love to uh, hear from you. And I almost forgot about my shirt. I'm going to have to sit, stand up a little bit. My husband got a quite a chuckle out of that shirt because he's always calling me a hoarder. <laughs> Which I guess I probably am when it comes to yarn, but we all are. Anyway, that's about all I have for now. I just want to get this uh, video uploaded so I can head out to the camper and enjoy the weekend. The uh, internet out there is a little bit iffy, so I've got to get it all done before I go. So I hope you all have a wonderful day. And if you're in Canada, happy Canada Day. And if you're in the States, I guess soon it will be uh, happy 4th of July. So uh, nice chatting with you all, and we'll talk to you again later. Bye-bye. <laughs>